Hello guys and welcome to my channel once again. My name is Shumin Harry Tigan Sajin and if you're just watching this channel for the very first time, I want to say a big shout out to you. Thank you once again for always coming to support my channel. And first of all, I arrived in Dubai and I did arrive 2019 and it was an amazing and thrilling experience for me. started um, when I boarded an Emirates airline and I had enough of everything I had wanted. You know, the food was superb, um, had a lot of drinks, I made new friends who were either traveling to Dubai or also traveling to other parts of the world. So it was an amazing journey for me. I didn't expect the one um, culture shock I got was that I was actually on an Emirate that is an airline that is owned by the United Arab Emirates and I was served alcohol so it was really shocking for me that I had uh, some alcohol that I could take on an Emirate airline to the army. It was so amazing. I did enjoy my flight. I enjoyed making the friends uh, and it was a very very wonderful journey. Actually uh, most people slept in the in the aircraft i didn't sleep i had the opportunity to visit and meet friends i went into the kitchen and i got to meet amazing people i didn't know you could go to the kitchen but due to an experience mr who has also been able to travel that route she told me it was possible for me to go to the kitchen and get whatever i wanted at whatever point in time i wanted so i did and i did enjoy that flight uh, the second thing that happened to me was when i arrived here in the uae at the airport it was so free uh, there was no rowdiness there were no people uh, pulling you here and there trying to drag you uh, it was so organized it was so large they were coming one after the other pick you and drive you to where you were going it was a fixed fee it's not like somebody is going to tell you a different fee from what you are expected to pay you know so they were all organized most of them uh, either the luxurious taxis or the color taxis uh, the normal taxis uh, but they were all organized queue one after the other they were taking people and that was a real big culture shock for me the third culture shock for me was when i moved through the city even though it was a desert i didn't expect that they had such amount of electricity it was so little very beautiful and colorful the whole street was highly littered the roads were wonderful and i didn't expect it they don't to make roads but i could see that their roads were well tied uh, i could see so many overhead bridges and underground bridges it was amazing for me to witness this in uae the third thing i i actually saw was um, arriving in dubai I didn't know exactly where I was going to be staying. I didn't know where was Dubai, where was Sharjah, where was Abu Dhabi, but I knew my visa was for Dubai and my flight was Dubai bound. So when I arrived, I had so I was driven right from the airport, which um, I had to take a taxi because the person who was supposed to come pick me couldn't make it. So I took a taxi. They gave me the description. I gave it to um, the taxi driver and he took me exactly to where I was going. On arrival, where I was going, I just found out that I was just in the middle of skyscrapers. All the buildings were so high, above 10, 15, 20 stories high. And I was wondering, is this whole city like this? You know, because I arrived at night, I couldn't see all around uh, from the airport to where I was going. But even though it was um, the same route i could actually see that most of the structures there were skyscrapers so coming to a city that is full of skyscrapers was really amazing i had to take amazing pictures like this ones you see on the screen and also this one and um it was so wonderful to be part of this city it didn't stop there uh, another culture shock i witnessed was when i arrived uh, I was told that it was illegal to hold hands uh, with uh, the other opposite sex uh, on the street and to affection in public. Um, it was a shock to me because where I'm coming from, I don't really see it as anything as far as um, 
it's your wife or whatever or your spouse or whatever it is but i was told this is not supposed to be done either outside or inside the mall it was uh, prohibited even though when i went inside i could still see people do this kind of life so it was really a culture shock for me but yeah every country has its rules another culture shock actually uh, i talked about the taxis earlier because i took a taxi i found out that all the taxis were colored and all the taxis that were not colored were registered with a particular type of number so it's easy for you to identify any taxi uh, by just that number if it's a colored taxi uh, with the blue top or the green top or the red top or the yellow top you know this is the kind of taxi and where it's coming from and if it's the black or white taxis which have a specific number as a number plate they all start with the same number as a number plate you know that this is luxury taxis so it was really amazing for me to find the latest cars being used as luxurious taxis and also uh, that they were so organized so it was really a different culture shock for me Another culture shock I got to know uh, was that in this Dubai, a country where we see as a heaven, uh, most of us who haven't traveled, we think that when you come to Dubai, uh, you find everybody is rich and everything. I found out people were riding bicycles and um, owning a bicycle was not just an easy thing because it can actually save you a lot of money. So I saw people riding bicycles like this and also um, not everybody could afford it you know so very few people could afford it and bicycles still get stolen uh, because everybody wants to get a bicycle so it was really a shocking thing for me that right now i have to own my own bicycle and i also use it for transportation so it's a big culture shock for me everybody thinks Dubai rich and everybody there is rich but in reality it is not it hey guys the last time I slept on a bunk bed was in secondary school and then I arrived in Dubai and the first house I slept in, you won't believe, I got to see people on metal bunk beds, the same metal bunk beds that we have in secondary school was what they had in this apartment when I was coming and I, it's not just having bunk beds, if you remember the dormitory system where you have like four or five bunk beds in a room, this is exactly what you are seeing right here just the difference is that they have covered with some curtains so the only privacy you have is that space in between the curtain and your bed if there is and some there is no even space between the curtain and the bed so it's just your bed that's your space that's all you have and the common space is the middle where people pass to their own beds so it was really really shocking for me to find out that people were living like that and in a room you can find as much as 13 14 people stay in one room you know you can even see in some places that the bunk beds which are supposed to be one and two you can find out that some are even three and some are four they are sometimes called uh Burj khalifa so if you live in Burj khalifa that's you're on the highest you know you have to go uh, one two three four and not only that you find couples living in that kind of a situation but that's what it is um having to see that wherever you go there are different situations don't just judge a book by its cover get to go there discover what it is guys anyway uh, i don't know if i'll be brought down if this video will be brought down because it's very very scary when you see some things about the uae but in reality i got to find out that in this beautiful country that you're watching right now we have roaches rats and bed box yes i said it bed box you know um you see people dressed with their tie iron shirt man if you go to some places where people sleep you would really really be surprised that this is dubai also so i was really shocked to see that these same things exist even though i don't i did not notice flies as much and i have not noticed up until now that i've stayed this over three years um but these three are very very rampant and you'll find them in the most you know the most beautiful buildings that you think you know they are there and they're real so it's a culture shock for me to find out that in a rich place like this a beautiful place like this you also have such things and i don't know 
why they're still there uh some of the insecticides they use here are not as strong as the ones that we have so uh the one we have back in nigeria you know the famous um sniper still sells here people bring it in and it has helped a lot to keep it away you know when when you're back home in africa or in nigeria precisely um when you have a shop in a shopping mall or on the streets or wherever it is and you're about to to like um close for the day and go home you begin to look for different sets of keys you know there are keys for padlock keys for ball glory keys for rulers uh shutters and um, you have to make sure it's fully fully locked you know but right here when i came i saw this you know the streets where you have glass as the doors you know you, it's a see-through some are gold shops some are computer shops but it's just glass there's no burglary and yet there is security so it was a big culture shock for me to see that even though there was no body guiding those places at that particular point in time these places were still safe and secure and day in day out i passed on and on and still saw these places still like this and still secure i don't know how they did to orientate the people but uae is a place that i've seen that um people will actually drink water and hold the can in their hand until they find a trash can and i think the mentality is that you see everywhere clean and eventually you also want to keep it clean so it was a big culture shock for me to see that everybody packs his garbage disposes it to the garbage and from the garbage they always come to pick it up so everywhere is always clean not to say there are no places that are a bit you know dirty uh, because we have rats and so on so you know the, the reason that you have so much of that even though there are so many cats on the streets uh, so i got to see that and i realized that um, people will tend to behave in a way and manner uh, based on their environment the environment is clean people will keep it clean if it's dirty people will definitely keep it dirty so mm -hmm. i think uh, they've tried a lot to to provide those beans and other things that has made people been able to keep their environment clean so, so another culture shock for me and the last one that i'll be talking about is security you know, it's um like every city uh uae will not say they have too much more than the americas the british and the germans uh, not to say there's no crime uh, but to some certain extent there is security you can move anywhere at any given time and you will be safe so it was a big culture shock for me that you can move at any point in time in your life or um, within the premises that you live and you will still be safe so this is another culture shock that i find very interesting and uh, i don't know there are so many others that i have not spoken about but if i get to find more culture shocks i'll definitely share with you as we go on on this channel thank you so much for watching i really hope that you gain something or you learn something from this video and i hope that you would share in the comment section what you think about the culture shocks that i've just shared remain my subscriber and make sure you share this video so thank you so much for watching i do appreciate you coming back to watch these videos see you on the next one my name is Remain Harry Tegan Sajigina for Experience Africans goodbye